Hello and welcome to a very quick tutorial on how to create your very first dynamic background campaign in one clip. If it's your first time on the platform, you're going to have this big uh, cam uh, create first campaign button right here. If you go ahead and click that, you're going to be presented with two options. Um, on my account, I do have existing videos, so I can just select one from a previous campaign. However, um, you will have this grayed out uh, if this is your first time. So let's go ahead and create a new video. But if you do have any from previous campaigns, for example, you'll be able to use them at a later date uh, if you just want to send that same exact video to a bunch of new prospects without having to re-record it. You can definitely do that. So uh, for this example, let's create a new video. We're going to give it a name. This one I'm just going to call B2B Cold Outreach, but this might be the niche of... Uh, business you're reaching out to or anything you say that's specific to one uh, type of business you might want to name it that so that you know you're not sending something for clothing brands out to you know fish and chip shops completely random example but you kind of get my point you can just name this whatever you want nobody's going to see this but you and it's just going to help you find it in your videos list later on you can also let us know who is recording the video so if you want to have multiple people on your account let's say you have a bunch of sales people on your team and you want to be able to at a later date group together videos that are all recorded by one particular person you're going to be able to do that for me, obviously, it's just going to be me recording this today. But again, let's say Steve joins the team. Just start typing their name and you'll get a button here to add them. For now, let's go with myself. I can add an avatar for myself as well, uh, a little profile picture. But let's, let's uh, kind of skip that for the moment. Then you're going to be presented with another two options, which is either the dynamic background feature or dynamic background plus AI voice. Now, the AI voice is currently in training and in testing, and we have a select uh, beta group that's kind of we're working closely with. They they know to expect bugs and things like that, which is why it's not uh, released to the general public just yet. But we're very very close, and I'm so excited for that feature. Today, we're gonna to work on dynamic backgrounds. So this is a video that looks a little bit like this loom I'm recording right now. My face is in the corner. I've got a website in the background, but I don't wanna to have to go on to 100 different prospects websites and re-record the same exact script. What we're gonna do is we're gonna record one video and then uh, one clip is gonna be the tool that personalizes all of the backgrounds. And it's gonna look like you're scrolling through uh, your prospects websites individually, even though it's only one video uh, that you're gonna record. So let's go ahead to edit script. This is just a little box that's gonna be displayed on the screen when you record your video. So um, if there's any talking points that you wanna include or anything you don't wanna to forget to mention, you can type it in here. So you can literally edit it as, as much as you want, type as much or as little as you want, and it'll display like this. So when you go to record the video, it's just there nice and easy for you. When you're ready to record your video, hit get camera, and then you'll be able to hit start recording. During the video, you'll be able to hold your up arrow or down arrow key on your keyboard, and it will simulate scrolling through the page. So at any random point during the video, you may choose to scroll down the page. You can just hold your down arrow. It will tell you what it's doing. At the moment, it says not scrolling. Uh, and then obviously, if you're finished, you hold the up arrow, and it will scroll all the way back up. So you can see I'm just simulating that here. I'm not obviously recording a video. If I click get camera, my face will appear here. But for some reason, when I'm recording a Loom video, it ruins the dimensions uh, of this video in one clip and I don't wanna cause any errors. So once you're done with your video, just hit upload and I'll meet you at the next step. Okay. So what we need now is to give our campaign a name. We can call this absolutely anything we want, but I'm gonna pretend that I'm a marketing agency and here I wanna reach out to e-com stores and this is going to be for clothing niche and I'm going to send it to five people you know you can call this whatever you want uh, you can name it however you want it's literally just for you to find at a later date it will also show you the original uh, video title as well uh, as well as giving you the option to either manually input your recipients or just drag and drop your prospects list now if you do want to drag and drop a prospects list simply download the sample csv by clicking this text here paste all of your uh, first names and your websites that you want to show in the background and we will do the rest just drag and drop it into here and it will populate all of these fields for now i'm just going to add one for myself uh one clip or ai there that's the vid that's the uh, landing page that we'll show in the background and uh, let's add another one as well Right, so I've added two recipients that I want. Obviously, this is unlimited. Depending on your plan limit, you can add as many prospects as you like. And once you're finished, just scroll down. The video domain is the uh, domain that you want the, the video landing page to be hosted on. So by default, you'll have one clip.video free to use. 
But if you've got the premium uh, membership or enterprise, of course, then you're going to have the option to add your own domain and completely brand it and white label it to your brand, um, you know, completely included with your plan. I would highly recommend you do this. It's going to look a lot more trustworthy and it's going to help your deliverability uh, if only you are using that domain. So. Uh, that can be set up in your account settings, but let's go with the default one for now. And the final thing is a call to action. So what do you want people to do after they watch this video that you send them? Nine times out of 10, it's gonna be to book a call with you or something like that. So you may want to paste your Calendly embed code here, which uh, I'll create another tutorial in the guide uh, for how to set that up here. It's very, very simple. You just go over to Calendly, hit share, copy the embed code and paste it in there. For this one, let's just do a sample book a call that's what i want the button to say and uh, let's link it to my booking page for example which in this case is google.com but this is just for a test purpose once you finish all of that hit save campaign and this is where the magic really happens all right so you're going to go back to your campaigns overview and it's going to be here as a new campaign it's going to start processing in just a few seconds but if you click on it you'll be able to get a few more details so uh, i've used the template video that i've recorded before and uh, it's got all the name and the domain that's going to be uh, hosted on everything like that and it's going to be show shown right here with all of your uh, copies and once they're finished you'll be able to see a little thumbnail preview of them and you'll be able to click on them to get the uh, the links to be able to send to your prospects. Once they are fully complete, you'll be able to use this download button here. And not only is it gonna give you the link to the landing page, but it's also gonna give you a little snippet of code which you can put into your email campaigns. So if you're using Instantly or any other tool that allows you to have variables in your email campaigns, uh, it will create a little snippet to put into your emails which shows the user a little three second preview of the video without having to leave the email. So you're not just sending them a, a URL link, you're actually sending them a little picture with your face and their website. So it, you know, it entices them to click a bit more. And look, just with me talking there, they're already generated. That's how quick it is. And if we head over to the video landing page itself, let's say I wanna click on salesforce.com, it's gonna come up with this um, video landing page here, just like that. And here is our book a call initiative. And as you can see, it heads straight to the CTA URL that we sent. There is the option, of course, to have the Calendly on the right-hand side. So you can just go ahead and um, have them book into your calendar straight from the video page. Would highly, highly recommend you do that as well. It's only gonna help you book more meetings and reduce drop-off. But that is just how simple it is to use one clip and create your very first campaign. I'm very, very excited to see some results. And of course, drop us a line if you need any help.